next slide yeah so uh, village level self assessment was launched in november uh, and 31st january tak uh, baseline self assessment complete hua now final self assessment is live and we have given timeline till 30th april so villages can complete the self assessment and if they want to update the self assessment they can update it till 30th april so important point to be noted is that this final self assessment can be undertaken multiple times if a village feels their score has improved progress has been made and they have completed self assessment uh, they want to again, again take it they can do it till 30th april as many times as they want score which comes on will be treated as the final self assessment score so this yes, i want to add here that the final village self assessment which uh, which has been which is live now the state can enter this as mentioned by the ishwaku that they can enter as much as, as many as multiple times but the one which will be entered and said on the last day of 30th april will be treated as a final village self assessment and that will be sort uh, saved automatically so we request uh, to states to kindly look into those village self assessment and as per the progress work done by the village regarding the sanitation activity they can start entering in this village self assessment as per the progress but the whatever the but they should see that whatever being said on the 30th april will be treated as the final self assessment so as sir mentioned 30th april is the fine and uh, i let me also mention why it is important to complete 100% because the score percentage completed final self assessment and peer verification will be taken into the final district score and which will impact the district ranking so completion of final self assessment and peer verification is must for any district to gain good district score and not lose marks in the uh, due to lack of participation so in the final uh, district rankings find and score the percentage of villages which have completed self assessment and peer verification will be multiplied so that factor will be multiplied so it is important to ensure 100% completion for this so this is a important point so ultimately the district score final score will be multiplied by the participation in the village self assessment and that to peer verified village self assessment so we require the state that to ask all or all their villages and panchayat to complete this self assessment so that the dosing score is not affected next next slide so based on that uh, the awards in different category of uh, panchayats will be given so it has been shown in the toolkit also that we have three population categories less than 2000 2000 to 5000 and more than 5000 and across each three population category we are recognizing best panchayats at district state and national level so uh, these three population categories we will be shortlisting for awards in uh, according to performance so now we are going more into detail of the peer verification so peer verification protocol was launched on uh, uh, was shared uh, with states on 21st march and uh, it is expected to initiate from 1st may but a lot of planning needs to be done so important thing why we are holding this vc today is that all of you can start planning uh, for peer verification formation of teams so that everything can line up and happen in time we have a very stringent timeline so let me also mention that 30th april final assessment will not be extended in any case so there is no so all final assessment needs to be completed before 30th april ideally try to do it before 25th april so you don't lose any kind of uh, last minute worries and then first may onwards the peer verification will start and within a month peer verification of all villages at block level needs to be completed and reported so we have very uh, next two three months are very busy months happening at state and district level so that's why we want to have this vc and again we will be holding on various parameters so now starting with the formation of peer verification team what we are mentioning that for each panchayat a three member team can be formed which you can which will be doing the peer verification and peer verification team will be doing the uh, 
ये वेरिफिकेशन अगेंस्ट द फाइनल सेल्फ असेसमेंट जो फाइनल सेल्फ असेसमेंट में रिस्पॉन्सेज भरे हैं उसके अगेंस्ट वो पी वेरिफिकेशन टीम जाके चेक करेगी कि जो डेटा रिपोर्ट हुआ है वो करेक्ट है एंड वेदर दे एग्री विद द ऑब्जर्वेशन फिल्ड इन द पी एन सेल्फ असेसमेंट दे डिसग्री और दे पार्शली एग्री एंड अकॉर्डिंगली दे विल फिल द रिस्पॉन्सेज फॉर द सेल्फ असेसमेंट नाउ द टीम डिस्ट्रिक्ट collector is responsible for formation of teams for three member three member two should be government officials and uh, preferably one member could be the panchayat secretary because panchayat secretary has been involved in the self assessment process so it would be preferred jahan pe bhi panchayat secretary available hain or uh, can be deployed for peer verification they should be part of the peer verification process our peer verification teams may also include uh, नॉन गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स सरपंचेज स्वच्छाग्रहीज एंड स्कूल टीचर्स एंड एनी एन जी ओ मेंबर्स विच एवर द स्टेट और डिस्ट्रिक्ट फील अप्रोप्रिएट फॉर कैरिंग आउट दिस एक्सरसाइज बिकॉज इट्स अ मैसिव एक्सरसाइज फॉर वन मंथ ऑल विलेजेज में पीयर वेरिफिकेशन विल नीड टू बी कम्प्लीटेड सो लॉर्ड ऑफ टीम फॉर्मेशन एंड प्लानिंग नीड्स टू बी डन एंड टू डे ट्रेनिंग नीड टू बी हेल्ड फॉर ऑल द टीम मेंबर्स ऑफ पीयर वेरिफिकेशन सो दैट दे आर अवेयर what they need to do unko village self assessment they should be aware what was the questions in village self assessment against which they have to fill their responses and accordingly uh, they should be well trained and uh, comfortable uh, going to the field and capturing the responses yeah just i would to add that the uh, training need to be carried out by the state and the district level and the detailed portion regarding the village self assessment should be uh, should be at uh, the all portion pertaining to the sanitation activities in that portion should be explained to the peer verification team so when they are going to the village so they can easily they can able to uh, uh, judge the response entered in the self assessment by the gps and then can give their remarks against each the, of the response whether they agree whether they not agree or they partially agree with the responses filled in the village self assessment so the peer verification is basically a, a peer verification team going in the village and entering their response against each of the questions which are there in the village self assessment so we request the state that this those team should be given a due to regarding the uh, sbmg phase 2 solid and liquid waste management activities which are a part of odi of us so that they can observe the work being carried out at the so uh, briefly we'll talk about the uh, basically the peer verification team will go and assess the responses whatever village self assessment has been filled so uh, it is related to the questionnaire only online the module will be given uh, in the block login where they will be having the access to which they can respond against the final self assessment filled up by the village and accordingly they can fill their observations whether uh, what final self assessment is reporting they are agreeing with the observation they are disagreeing or they are partially agreeing so in that they can influence with the uh key members and the influencers and some households to get the assessment of actually how many households are covered through solid waste management arrangements related to questions in the self assessment questionnaire and what are the processes in terms of segregation happening collection happening at the village level or not and what is the observations from uh, various influencers and the discussion with households similarly whether the households are covered through community grey water household systems are they if they are drains are they linked with grey water management arrangement of examination points and uh, how many different type of technologies uh, for toilets are existing and if there some linkages exist or not and then they can they must visit two public places to see the visual cleanliness which has been reported uh, and whether ic messages are displayed so whatever is there in the questionnaire there is nothing new only thing they need to just verify and uh, mark against that their uh, observation what has been reported is it accurate or they do not agree so this is what is they need to do next yeah just so just to reiterate that to the peer verification team should be well aware of the how to ascertain the, in the village the, the whether the households are 
सेचुरेटेड विद द सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट और एट थ्रू द हाउस होल्ड लेवल एसेट्स और कम्युनिटी एसेट सो दे शुड बी ट्रेन एज टू जज दैट हाउ द विलेज कैन बी ट्रीटेड एज सेचुरेटेड विद सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट थ्रू हाउस होल्ड और कम्युनिटी एसेट सेम फॉर द ग्रे वाटर मैनेजमेंट so uh, nic is developing a reporting module for uh, peer verification so we will have once the module is ready or in the pilot mode we will uh, have another round of discussion but broadly uh, the, under the block logging mis logging so it will be uh, using the block mis logging the all the final self assessments will be shown in the block logging and that means that the uh, option will be given to mark the responses i mean the final assessment and based on that the responsibility of video is fixed that he will ensure that the uh, all the peer verification is completed and reported on the sbmg mis well within time yeah. so they should ensure that they submit their peer verification timely to the video bdpo office and all the final village self assessment will be reflecting in the blog logging of the video and the blog the video office of video pio office will then be responsible for entering the those peer verification responses against each of the video service so now comes how the uh, peer verification happens and the selection of best performing gps will happen at the block level oh raja na this uh, peer verification is completed for all the villages average screen shot the people will determine the peer verified score of gp and based on the peer verified score within the descending order they will be appearing in the mis login uh, and 10% of the gp so important point to note here is for any population category either 10% of the gp is in that population category or five whichever is higher will can be identified so if we take an example of a uh, block which has 100 panchayats and in one population category there are 80 panchayats in other two population categories there are 10 and 10 panchayats so they will be able to identify and nominate to district eight from the first category where they have 80 panchayats and five five each from other so total they can nominate up to 18 uh, panchayats for district level uh, to district level so this is the mechanism which is worked out and it is already there in the toolkit and guidelines also but in case some gp hold like in case two or three gp is coming the same marks their marks are same in the peer verified score in that case the tie breaker thing will be the higher number of household so gp which is having higher number of household will be given higher rating and ranking and in case still for the tie then Uh, villages score uh, gp scoring highest number of marks in swm plus dwm which is 300 marks will be given a precedence so this is on the basis of which the 10% of the gp or 5 gp in population category will be selected and video has to uh, using the block login will need to recommend it for uh, pushing it to district so that it can be shown to district that these are the nominations from block level So all this process will need to be done in the block login and MIS software uh, scheme. Next, then district level, uh, district water and sanitation committee uh, mission will constitute a committee to evaluate whatever nominations received from block, and based on the shortlisting, district will select the five best GPs in each population category uh, for further evaluation and shortlisting. And uh, some district officials. Uh, will be nominated by the district collector to physically verify uh, these GPs and accordingly shortlist the best uh, GPs for nomination to states. And then we have state level. Similarly, state will also constitute a committee for shortlisting the best performing panchayats received from districts. And important point: states which are having some more number of panchayats in particular population category can nominate up to one panchayat per thousand panchayats or five, whichever is higher. So, in uh, they can nominate either uh, five panchayats in each population category, but in case there are more panchayats in one population category, they can nominate uh, one per thousand panchayats. So, if a 
uh, uh, suppose state has pop 20 housing panchayats in less than 2000 population category they can nominate 20 panchayats in that population category and remaining as per uh, the population category so this is a, a final shortlist will be sent to DDWS which will be further verified by national board. So this is the process which will run. Now we will come to the timelines which are very strict and now uh, planning needs to start happening for completion of self-assessment, uh, final self-assessment in next one month and then completion of uh, peer verification in the month of May. So all the team formation training should happen next month itself. So whenever once the access is given to the module on 1st May, the team should be uh, on ground from 1st May onwards doing the peer verification. Next, next timelines. So here you can see the timelines again. Uh, final self-assessment 30th April. So we have just one month. So kindly uh, start getting to uh, full gear again and complete it well within time. Then the first peer verification block level will need to be completed. First May to 15 June. So we have just 45 days, but try to complete within the month of May. Then district will also do the verification of shortlisted GPs in mid-May to June, end of June, then state 1st to 15th July and then uh, awards and recognition can happen in the month of July and August and DDWS will also start the verification. So by uh, end of uh, June and first week of July we are expecting all nominations from the states so that we can send our teams for final verification and shortlist. And 2nd October 2023, we will be recognizing the best performing panchayas in all three population categories. So uh, with this, I hand over to Sir, and we will have a, some demo of the dashboard also just to show one or two elements of dashboard. So these all have been a part of our toolkit which was released on the month of November last year regarding how the distribution and selection of panchayat across each of the population category to be done, how the district will carry out, then how the state and then the state will be sending to the DDWS for recognizing panchayat as national level. So our NIC team is working on this protocol and they will be also showing you a demo. So all this will be a part of the NIC development of protocol. So now we will just show you uh, that we have also made the final self-assessment live. We will just show so that you can also start reviewing the process. So we are going to the SSG dashboard. So here you can see the self-assessment entry status. So we can see that uh, some states and uh, have Himachal have already started final self-assessment and it is happening. And here you can see the status of baseline self-assessment, how much, and then the final self-assessment. And then if we go into Himachal and just see, we can see that some villages have completed this. And in स्क्रीन में तो अभी आप देख सकते हैं so uh, from our SDM dashboard, we go to the SWAS Servation Gamin dashboard and all the updates we are posting in SWAS Servation Gamin dashboard itself. Yeah, so now we are going into the village self-assessment entry status. Here uh, we are showing the baseline completion and the latest self-assessment which is the final self-assessment status also. And Himachal mein kafi jage shuru ho gaya hai final self assessment. Aur aap jaise baseline ka monitor kar sakte the, aise hi iska bhi aap monitor kar sakte So abhi hum aap mandi 
स्क्रीन षाटी पन स्क्रीन षाटी Basically, if you will go into the details of those health uh, assessment, two things will be reflected. You would have seen already. I think one week has already arrived, but this is live now. Yes. So, against each of the village, uh, the baseline health assessment can be seen, and then also the new final base health assessment can also be seen. So, people can see that what response they paid in the baseline and. What is the improvement as of now while entering the village health assessment? Okay, I think there is some. So one thing we wanted to mention is in the grey water management. what we have observed last during the baseline self assessment lot of villages we are the question we are asking is how many households not covered through grey water to household level or community level arrangements but most of the villages are responding as if it is covered because so the question we have made it in bold also and uh, completely in uh, caps so it is important to note and inform when they are taking final self assessment the response should be How many households in the grey water is not covered? उसोल्ड <laughs> that how many households are not covered with the grey water management system so what we have seen is people are not carefully seeing that mark not covered they are entering the response as if the covered is being asked so that will affect their score so i request all the state to kindly go into that poster and in the grey water management system where the it is being asked there is a total number of households not covered so we have done we have made it in a bold and also underlined that thing not covered so basically that is the thing we you can also 
people should uh, keep in this mind that the not covered is being asked. We are trying to show the questioner, but still we are facing some issue. But you can go in the self-assessment question. In the grey water, uh, not covered. So I think this is what, so now you can monitor the progress of the village self-assessment, final assessment, which you should monitor daily and try to complete it as much. हिमाचल में शिमला का दिखाइए मैंने खोला हुआ है यहाँ पर मोबाइल से ही खोल रहा है मेरा फोन वी विल ट्राई वंस मोर शिमला का बोलो बारह रिकॉर्ड आप इधर क्लिक करें बारह नंबर पर बारह है कहता है इसी पर क्लिक करो सिंधा पर चलिए यू कैन आज so I think you have understood the जो village self assessment का response है you can go and check and question not covered is highlighted it needs to be brought to the notice of panchayats and villages when they are taking final self assessment and peer verification also. Thank you. So now we request all the states if they have any queries they are free to ask. सर इसमें जैसे रिपोर्ट्स के बारे में सर ने अभी बताया तो उसमें जैसे इसमें सर वेरिफिकेशन का फाइनल असेसमेंट का जो है अगर स्कोर हमें बाहरी रिपोर्ट्स में मिल जाता आपको अंदर जाके ही देखना पड़ेगा जाके ही देखना पड़ेगा क्योंकि वो रियल टाइम में जनरेट हो रहा है अब हमने फाइनल असेसमेंट उनको बार बार अपडेट करने का वो दे दिया है आप समझ रहे हैं की वो जब भी अगर वो सेल्फ असेसमेंट दोबारा करके अपडेट कर रहा है तो उसका स्कोर जनरेट होता है तो इसीलिए ये जो प्रोविजन है आपको एंटर करके ही देखना पड़ेगा बाकी वी विल ट्राई टू सी सम रिपोर्ट कैन बी क्रिएटेड विद फ्रॉम एनआईसी विच कैन गिव सम अमाउंट ऑफ यू वांट टू डू सम एनालिसिस और समथिंग दैट कैन बी कैसे और इसमें अगर आपको आपके जो भी प्रोग्रेस हो रहा है इफ यू सी फील दैट यू हैव एडेड एडेडेशन सेट और इफ यू हैव एडेड सम ग्रे वाटर मैनेजमेंट एसेट तो आप उसको ऐड कर सकते हैं तो वो सेव हो जाएगा लेकिन वो तो फिर आप फिर से उसको एंटर करेंगे तो लास्ट डेट इज थर्टी एथ अप्रैल सो देट वाई वी हैव गिवेन दिस प्रोविजन एज मेनी एज टाइम जो भी आपका प्रोग्रेस हो रहा इन सी टू ऑन द फील्ड यू कैन एंटर दो थिंग्स इन द सेल्फ क्वेश्चनर सो दिस विल हेल्प यू इन योर अचीविंग मोर मार्क्स कोई रिकॉर्ड बार बार में अपडेट होता रहेगा अपडेट होता रहेगा जब तीस अप्रैल का जो भी हो वो कटा अपडेट होकर फाइनल आ जाएगा उसी रिकॉर्ड को करना भी नॉट फिनिशिंग वो इसी रिकॉर्ड को आप अपडेट नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स कितने बार भी आप अपडेट कर सकते हैं दैट्स व्हाई कपिल जी सर इज मी हाँ ये देखिए आपको इसको यस एनी अदर क्वेरी फ्रॉम हिमाचल प्रदेश नो सर थैंक यू सर महाराष्ट्र से बात कर रहा सर प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टर एस बी एम शेखर रोहनदर सर हमारे एक क्वेरी थी हमारे पिछले आठ दस दिन में चौदह विलेजेस की बढ़ोतरी हुई है मैंने इसके तो उनका तो पहला फर्स्ट असेसमेंट हुआ नहीं है तो फिर वो विलेजेस का कैसा अभी लेटेस्ट किस नहीं आप उनका आपका कितना विलेज का नहीं हुआ है चौदह चौदह
ठीक है आप अभी उनको एंटर करिए देन वी के यू कैन टॉक सेपरेटली टू द इशू ऑफ जी सर ओके थैंक यू एनी अदर स्टेट को वेरिफिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल वी हैव लेफ्ट टू द डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अ टीम ऑफ एथलीट three members of which the two should be a government official and they should be intra block or inter block so that team so it is up to the district administration judgment so how they at what, what they think should be the best process so that the best peer response can be taken up so it is up to the district level authority right sir नवंबर ओनली दैट हैज टू बी रिपोर्टेड ऑन ई जी एस so where villages have completed baseline okay. assessment uh, yes. yes yes any other states so we are just uh, adding again this that uh, after 30th april all the final village self assessment will be start reflecting in the block level sbmg mis so the peer verification team which will be going to the villages they will be carrying out the peer verification they will submitting to the block level of bdo or bdp office and then the bdo or bdop office will then enter the peer responses in each of the village self assessment and our nic is making a detailed proto detailed system in which all as for the protocol and as for the guidelines in the toolkit all the ranking in each of the population categories will come on its own and rest the procedure has been has been mentioned in the protocol as to how the uh, check has to be done by the block level office or district level office yes any other queries from any state If uh, there are no further queries, then we can close the VC. If we have one or two more minutes, if anybody has any questions related to protocol or uh, final assessment. But this query, which is coming, which is Maharashtra, which is what we are talking about, 14 villages created have been created, and direct candidate, direct process will be done. It will be done. सर 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 वन क्वेरी फ्रॉम सिक्किम सर या सर रिगार्डिंग वन क्वेश्चन इन दिस सेल्फ एसेसमेंट रिगार्डिंग शेयर्ड व्हीकल सर द एवेबिलिटी ऑफ शेयर्ड व्हीकल सर Sir, in Sikkim, voice is not clear. Sikkim, the voice is not clear. Not clear, sir. Yes. Sir, am I clear, sir? Now, sir. Hello. Yes, 
सर क्या है सर ये जो शेड बेकर्स का जो मतलब मार्क्स है सर इसमें शेड करेंगे तो सर मार्क्स इज हंड्रेड परसेंट देन इफ इट इज शेड नो सर द मार्क्स विल बी रिड्यूस टू फिफ्टी परसेंट सो इन सिक्की मोस्ट ऑफ द बेकर्स आर शेड सर एंड ड्यू टू लेस दिस आउटपुट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट दिस जनरेशन ऑफ दिस वेस्ट सर सॉलिड वेस्ट सर so we use uh, one vehicle in a block in uh, uh, in cluster sir so jaise ek gram panchayat ka sir aaj uh, so you can be have we have got your points he already sir yes sir launch on over and already approved so now all the okay. states are following and these are preserved so we cannot change any other criteria as of now so accordingly this will be okay sir okay sir सिंगल फिट अभी चेस्ट नीन